All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear. Um, you know, the music is uh, presenting something happy, and uh, supposedly we are talking about heaven. And you know, when somebody uh, speak about Islam, you imagine yourself uh, living in a very a beautiful area, beach, beautiful water. You will run in the beach, and there is a lot of women chasing you. Yeah, they will grab you from under the sand. Some of them, they will be hiding under the sand. The others, they will be like a mermaid. So if you get in the water, they will get you. If you go in the beach, they will get you. If you go under the tree, they will grab you. But this is not the truth about Islam. Islam doesn't say that. Islam says there is a woman waiting for you and they are jailed in their tent. They are what? They are jailed in their tent. Who said that? No, CP. It doesn't say that, CP. You know, it does say that. <laughs> so the heaven of Allah is nothing but a tent full of women. This is the truth. It's a tent. It's a big, huge tent full of women and barbecue. So if you're imagining that you go to heaven, you will see this. You are mistaken, my friend. This is something you can see in Indonesia, you can see maybe in USA, uh, you know, Caribbean islands, uh, you know, I mean, but you cannot see it. You will not see this in the heaven of Allah. In the heaven of Allah, there's one thing, tent full of women and boom, boom. And uh, to prove what I'm saying, <clears throat> this is the Quran. Those hur, you see here, they're translated as companions. It doesn't say companions, it says hur, who they are transparent, uh, you can see through their bones secluded in their tents that's it those women they will never see the sun those women they will never see anything they are secluded muslim not normal muslim very good you know like you already deserve the best allah will transform you into a green bird i'm not sure what the green bird is but it might be a chicken now, here I ask myself, so Allah will make me a green bird, and then he promised me women? Okay, how this rooster will have sex with those women? If you go to the book of Ibn Kathir, and this is the book of Ibn Kathir, not me, no, CP, it doesn't say that, see. <laughs> it says, <clears throat> We ask Messenger of Allah the same question about what? About those the Quran says that when they die, they are alive. Okay, they are get killed. Those are the murder. All right. It says here in Arabic, Arwahuhum fi jawfi tayrin khudurin laha qanadilu mu'allaqa. What is that? Let us see the English. Their soul are inside the green birds that have lamps. <laughs> <laughs> like Suleimani or Suleimani or his name and al-Baghdadi and Osama bin Laden and they feed me to the fish and then at the end I will become a chicken and green this is really what I will get I was fighting with Taliban for 30 years 20 years with Al-Qaeda spend my life bowing down to you kissing black stone going around the rock throwing rocks at the house of the devil but there's nobody there and after all this i will become a green bird and i will have a lamp are you serious yes brother a <clears throat> brother i mean isn't it this is beautiful <clears throat> Isn't it this is beautiful? The Prophet said, who said? The Prophet. Oh, this is the Eve CP. Okay, we can find you something stronger. <laughs> so you promised me I will eat birds. And then at it, the, it, uh, the end, I am a bird. Isn't it the Quran says, And the, the meat of a bird. 
as as they wish so uh, green bird will eat from the tree there's no meat so you are a bird now and you are a vegetarian for the rest of your eternity what is this <clears throat> the soul the prophet said the soul of those murderers life in the body of a green bird who have their rest in the chandelier hang from the throne of the almighty <laughs> okay those are murder you promised them a lot of women now they are a green bird so how they will have sex with the women they will use their peak when this green bird he is going to have sex with the women <clears throat> ah, we lost connection uh, no I think now is good you will hear me soon what I can do you know the internet sometimes is bad so now you are a green bird and now the women are naked in the front of you and now you want to have sex with who with female women So what you will say to those women, let me change my feather, take off my pant or what? I mean, what exactly would happen? How you would? You are a chicken and you die for the sake of Allah. Allah reward you. You became a bird hanging in the chandelier of Allah. Have fun, my friend. I mean, what do you want more? What do you want more from being a green bird in the chandelier of Allah? which is coming under the ass of Allah as you see because this is coming under the throne of Allah not in the top for sure he will put you underneath because Allah he will not allow the green bird to piss on him I mean pff, that's not nice so you will be under the ass of Allah not only you are a green bird now you are hanged in a little whatever they call it chandelier whatever it is it's a hook under the ass of Allah and you will be there and this is supposedly is your reward <clears throat> hmm? What is that? Those are the murders from Taliban. They are reciting the Shahada. And they are saying Takbir. Obviously, uh, the one who made this statement, he have a mental illness. I'm serious. He have a, literally a mental illness. And to believe in this, you have to be a mental... I mean, why Allah... Okay, isn't it a human being is the best shape supposedly God created for you Muslims? So is Allah downgrading you or upgrading you by making you a green bird? I want to know. Is that an upgrade or downgrade? As I know that when Allah he uh, uh, cursed the Jews, he made them pigs and monkeys. So he downgrade them. In different hadith, he made them rats. In different hadith, he made them lizard because Muhammad is very confused about what Allah made of the Jews. He hated them very much. So, obviously, according to the Quran, if your God, he is upset from you, he will make you an animal. So how now you are the best for him, yet he is making you a bird? Hmm? So, <clears throat> and not only that, guys, those birds, they will say to Allah, please, Allah, Please, please, make us a human again. Allah will say to them, why? Why you want to be human again, huh? Why? They will say, so we can go and fight and come back and die for you. And look at the stupidity. Those people, they are obsession with murder. Those people, they are obsession with killing. Those people are obsessed, obsessed with the bloodshed. It's fun. Allah, please, please, please. Let us be human again. And Allah said to them, but why you want to be human again? Read, read carefully with me. And then 
uh, they said, uh, Allah, he said to them, do you want anything? Allah, he said to them, do you want anything? Like, what do you want? Now, they are a bird. Remember, they are birds. They said, uh, what more shall we desire? Oh, you mean, what more? You are being chicken now. What, what more than chicken you want to be? That's it. Nothing you can dream of. That's it. This is the best you can, you know, you can reach or you can get. Uh, we eat fruit of paradise from wherever we like. <laughs> Their Lord asked them the same question thrice. Three times again. Here we go. You have to repeat the question three times. Trinity. Trinity. Everything in Islam three times. Once it is not enough. And when they saw, they will continue to be asked and not left without answering the question. <clears throat> they said, O oh Lord, we wish that thou might return our souls to our bodies <laughs> so that we may be slain. <laughs> so now you are a chicken and you're a dream to come back as a human. And why you want to come back as a human? So you can be killed. You go, you kill people, and you will die. And that is your dream. And then Allah will make you a green bird again. And then you go back to heaven. And then you ask Allah the same, please Allah, please Allah, please, please, make us a human again so we can go and get killed and come back. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid cult more than this? What is this? What is this? You are not satisfied with, with you, you you are not satisfied with being a green bird now? Come on, be honest. Brothers and sisters, if we go and do jihad, brother. We are going to turn into green birds. Hey, hold on, we, we need we need to give you some <clears throat> better understanding of this, uh, what we are talking about. Because maybe the image is not clear for some. Forget about the chicken. It says a green bird. It can't be a green chicken. We don't know. But let us say <clears throat> green bird. Generally speaking, green bird. I want the Muslims who they are in the chat to tell me which one you like to be out of those birds. You see, I just searched uh, for a green bird. <clears throat> Do you like to be this one? Or this one? That's beautiful, my friend. So you are going to be a green bird in the heaven. Mm-hmm. What else it will be? What else? Like maybe this one? Maybe this one? Hmm? This one is a green too. Who wanna? Who of you Muslims really honestly, he would like to sacrifice his life to be a green bird? Get the honor to be a green bird. I mean, what's wrong with, with being a green bird? I mean, what's, uh, I mean this, is, this should be a, 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 a dream for everybody. Green bird. You wish to be a green bird. And, and by the way, why are you green? Yeah, somebody is asking why green. But what about the blue? Hmm? Hello? Uh, by the way, this is not a, this is not a green. This is a, like a green yellow. Uh, so this color is not right. We need to find the pure green because he said the green only. We have to be honest here. Because the Muslim, they will say, see, CP is lying. The big it says a green bird. He is showing us a bird with colors. So we need to find a green, just only green. Until now, all the birds we see, they are not totally green, really. I mean, I cannot find really a, a pure green bird. I mean, the parrot is uh, the most close one to be green, but his peak is not a green. So what we will do? I think the peak will be green too. <clears throat> Oh boy. Exactly. Muhammad is promising those poor Arab who live in the desert who green color is the best for them. Promise of an Arab desert man. 
but it doesn't sound right. And somebody saying in the chat actually sound like, sound like Hinduism. Exactly. Because Hindus, they believe that, uh, you know, there's a good soul and bad soul supposedly. And, uh, you know, there is like a transaction of your body from a soul of maybe a, a tiger to a soul of a cockroach or a fly or a cat or a camel or a human, depend who you were, you know, in the previous life. So here Muhammad is accepting the teaching of Hindus and transforming his teaching into another form of Hinduism that if you are a great person, Allah will make you a green bird. Do we have any Muslim, any Muhammadan have a comment about this? Anyone? Any Muhammadan? And by the way, how this bird will do, will do adult breastfeeding now? He have 70, uh, he have about 70, 70, 80,000 women. They have big boobs as the Quran described them. Okay, how he is going to enjoy the boobs of those women? He's a bird. Do you think he will stand on them? Maybe he will use his beak to tickle those nipples? Or maybe the sparrow, he will say, nipples, nipples, nipples. And the, the, the horse will say to you, yeah, you idiot, do something. <laughs> nipples, nipples. You stupid, stop saying nipples, do something. Nipples, nipples. Okay. And <clears throat> and then the, 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 the versions, they take off their panty. And then he will say, <clears throat> beep. She will, she will say to him, you, you idiot. Yeah, it is that. Do something. I cannot say the word. <clears throat> this is God and this is religion. And this is a promise of God. I mean, this promise does not fit even with a three years old kid. This is stupid. How God demigrated you from a human to a bird? Do you sound like better there? I mean, do you, look, you look better, by the way. You look at your eyes, you know. <clears throat> so I don't know like if there is any Muslim would like to uh, <clears throat> tell us what he think about this uh, any Muslim any Muhammadan who is a Muhammadan here be honest and you like to be a green bird which by the way this is the highest rank the highest rank in Islam is a green bird the Prophet himself he will be a green bird based on this because Muhammad is the highest and he's a murderer, he died by the poison by the Jew. Hmm? <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? <clears throat> no, I cannot call Zakir Naik because Zakir Naik now, you know, you see, Zakir Naik already looked like a green bird. Don't you see that be that beard? I mean, his beard alone looked like a bird beard, looked like a rooster, you know, something coming from his, I don't know what is that. I think this poor guy tried to grow a beard, but it's not working. Maybe I should give him, you know. Uh, <clears throat> My friend, adoption in Islam is forbidden. And secondly, uh, breastfeeding for a child. How if a woman, she do breastfeeding for a child, that will make him her son? That's stupid. I mean, this is literally stupid. This is kind of a, you know, Muhammad was obviously, you know, he's taking too much from the Hindus. You know, where the cow and the philosophy about the cow and etc. Otherwise, a woman, she is, uh, you know, so if if, if, you're, if your son drink a cow milk, the cow became his mother. Secondly, Muhammad, he spoke about the breast adult feeding for, for adult, not only for children's. Both ideas are stupid. Uh, <clears throat> those birds, they drop the elephant. No, those are those different birds. Different. Those are green. The other, the other one, we do not know them. Yeah, we do not know how big, how what their color. We know nothing about the other birds. Or what we know, they are birds and they throw rocks. Mostly they are Arabian birds because we are the specialists in throwing rocks. I mean, <laughs> man, nobody can throw rocks like the Arab. Unbelievable. 
like you install a brand new window the second day a rock hit it from where the rock came nobody knows actually in the middle east they, the the kids they enjoy you know shooting rocks at the lamps in the light in the street in the front of their house you believe it i mean do you believe it and their parents don't even tell them what they're doing you will lose light this is a free light for you from the from the government what they do they throw rocks at the light which is in the front of their house which is for free anyway <clears throat> very very advanced civil society uh, so you know if you think about it always uh, i wish all muslims would be green birds and you send us pictures please you know like you go there line up hmm? like zach and Naik, uh, all those names you know line up together take a selfie you know i want to see a bunch of green birds lining up together in the heaven and don't forget to take it when you are in the chandelier under the eyes of Allah. That will make it fantastic. Because by taking selfie under the eyes of Allah, I will see two things. I will see your face and Allah's ass. Hmm. That's amazing. Always when you try to understand the promises of Muhammad, you find that this person, he is full of fantasy, you know, and his fantasy is weird. It's crazy, stupid. Doesn't not only does it make sense. I mean, it's it's not promising because are you trying to seduce me to die for you, or you're trying to make me run away? How in the world you promise me if I die I will live, and then you say to me you will live inside the look and he look what he said. He said their soul will be inside the green bird, which means they are not even the green bird. They are going to be inside a green bird. Did you read it? Let me show you again. Hold on. <clears throat> He said, the souls of those murder, the souls of the murderers live in the bodies of a green bird, which means those are birds. And your soul will be jailed inside that bird. What is that, man? So Allah will take your soul and he will insert your soul inside the body of a bird this is not you this is a bird but now your soul is inside that body have fun <laughs> it's like what they call it <clears throat> the mexican sandwich i don't know what they call it mexican sandwich i'm not mexican i wish i am mexican i love mexican food you know like so you are now a soul okay you die now you are a soul and now Allah is looking for a body for you <laughs> what body I will give them what body I will give them Allah look around him he saw a bunch of green birds he say hey bingo all the souls go inside those green birds yeah taco 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 green bird <laughs> what the heck is that man what is this Okay, a question. Why why green birds? What's wrong with the red one? Uh, what's wrong with the black one? No way, man. No way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Muhammad, imagine you are now a murder for Allah and Allah, he put you inside the black bird. <laughs> no way, man. <laughs> yeah, remember in Islam, black are not allowed. No black is allowed in the heaven of Allah. So, you know, I mean, Islam not only stupid cult, Islam is a kind of madness. Muhammad is trying now here to, sub so to seduce people to die. Just die for me. Die for me. And he stay home between the legs of his wives, reading Quran there, searching for inspiration. But you go and die, and you die so you can be a green bird. Don't you want to be a green bird? Hmm? Man, it's my favorite day. It's a green birthday. I mean, 
No wonder they are, they cannot wait to go to heaven, man. Everybody want to be a green bird. A green bird, huh? Hmm. You have to have mentally green issue, you know. Oh, look at this guy. Why he don't make you like uh, have many colors? Why only green? I mean, what's wrong with this? Isn't it, this is nicer? Hmm? And look, now you are eating from the tree. Look, you see, he see, have something in his mouth. Hmm? Why only green bird? Isn't it boring in this heaven? Muslims will wear green clothes. The birds are a green. Everything is a green. I think even the water is a green. I mean, what is this? All the Muslims will be wearing green silk. The murder will be green birds. I'm afraid that Allah himself is Mr. Green. Color of the money? Hmm. <clears throat> you see? Any Muslim have any comment? So you do die? You do jihad and then Allah he make you a green chicken. I mean it's fun. What do you want more to be in? I mean what how higher than being a green chicken? That's amazing, beautiful. I mean I think I think this is the dream of every human being. We have to admit. Sound really uh, very uh, promising extremely promising any Muhammadan you know <clears throat> this is why when we started I was showing you uh, like a picture in the beach because many of us imagine like the Muslim heaven is a, is a presented as a, something like so beautiful uh, maybe beach and there is versions so you play with those versions uh, you know uh, in the beach, you know, etc. But no, this is case no, does not exist. Those women, they will be in jail. Hmm? No women are wearing bikini or anything. And the tent is very, like, very close. Nobody can see what is inside. Which means it's going to be dark inside the tent. And you will see nothing. The women, they will see nothing. There is no beach. There is no fun. So if you think you will go and take those versions, uh, if you think that those versions are like, uh, uh, what they call them? Mermaid coming from the beach? You know, no, my friend, you will not get that. No, sorry. No. You will be a green bird. I'm trying to find you a, a picture fit with the with the topic I getting nothing except a green chicken unbelievable yeah yeah this one this one is good yeah so if you think I'm trying to be polite you know I'm not I'm not showing what Allah he promised because those women they will be wearing see-through there's no panties and you know I mean you know so the heaven of Allah obviously not only stupid and crazy it's ugly it's boring because okay let us say you are going to give me a tent and this tent is full of women and have a lot of food and i mean okay you have one time sex three time five time seven time ten time twelve time one hundred and and then what is this The God of Islam, he failed to mention love. What he's mentioning lost. Somebody, his private part will never go limp as Muhammad promised in the hadith. No, CP. This hadith is weak, CP. Everything in Islam is weak, including your limp. Hmm? Everything in Islam is weak. Isn't this the case? <coughs> Uh, this is a weak hadith, uh, everything, everything is, uh, hold on, I'm trying to find the hadith. <coughs> uh, 
Hmm. Let me see what is the hadith. The one, there is no one whom Allah will admit it to paradise, that Allah will marry him to seventy-two wives, two from the Huris and seventy from his inheritance, from the people of hell. By the way, the Muslim, they say, uh, I, I say that those women are hookers. They say, no, CP, where it says hooker, CP, is okay, let's see, read together. What is what is a special what is something special about those women who Allah was going to bring them from heaven from hell from the hell they are from hell they are very bad this is why they are there what is the best of them is it their dignity is it their honor maybe they are virgins no the best about them as your prophet described is their boobs and their private part read it whom whom will have what? What is special about them? Desirable front passages. <laughs> and he will have a male member that never became a flaccid. <laughs> I.e. soft and limp. <laughs> oh boy. So now... You what, the green bird what he will do do you think the green bird his uh, his uh, his main member will never go soft <laughs> I mean, even what, what a stupid cult man so now you are a chicken and your private part it never goes sleep what you would do with it exactly can you explain to us Allah and those two 72 by the way, 72, this is the lowest reward, which means the murder, he would have a lot more. 80,000, 1 million, we do not know. So, uh, okay, you have 1 million, uh, you, you are a bird, a green bird, and your male member will never go sleep. And now you have 1 million women. What you will do with them with this male member, which is hard to be found. I mean, if you are of a bird, uh, Abdul, uh, try to find the male member of the bird. I mean, it's going to be so, 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 so small. So, your Allah promising you that your male member will never go sleep, and now you have seventy versions. Each one of them, her, she is thirty mile tall. Thirty mile tall. Thirty mile, and you are a bird. I mean, if she is thirty mile tall, her private part will be like what? Like bigger than the Lake or Lake Tahoe in California. She is going to be a lot bigger. I think it's going to be like the, the Great Lakes in Michigan, her private part, if she is 30 mile. So what do you will do with your private part and you are a bird now? And you're too small, you know, what do you think? Uh, which is this? I am truly, truly convinced that Islam is a religion from God. No, CP. This hadith is weak, CP. Okay, why it's weak? What does that mean? You Muslim, you lie. You Muslim, you lie about your prophet. He did not say those things and you make it up. Shame on you Muslims. That's why we say we can't trust Muslims. Because of the scholars of Islam collecting hadith and the Muslim, they say it is weak. That's mean Muslim scholars are a scumbag and nobody can be trusted in Islam. Those are the best of Muslims collecting. Look, it says it was narrated from uh, Ummah uh, Abu Abu Umar, the, that messenger of Allah said, okay, it's not narrated from the Christians, not narrated from the Jews, it's narrated from Muslims, have names. But as you know, everything in Islam is Da'if. Da'if Allah, uh, by the way, when you go to heaven because you are Da'if, Allah will increase your power, as you see. Every Muslim, he will make 100 virgin lose their virginity every, uh, you know, every day. The Prophet of Allah, he will have the power of four, of, of 100, uh, uh, <clears throat> so hold on, 100 men. I'm trying to remember the hadith. 
100 men I, I forgot really you know I'm, I'm not uh, concentrating now I don't know I, I forgot what is the exact number I think Muhammad would have the total number of 4,000 men for sex yeah every man sorry every man every Muslim man he will have the power to do 100 versions boom boom all right and I can show you the hadith here and then the Prophet he will have the power of 40 men of those men so if every one of them have the power of 100 to do 100 that's mean the Prophet will do 4,000 females <coughs> What do you say? Four thousand. Hmm. I mean, I'm really upset. You know, I go to heaven and now only I will do it uh, 100 times. This is very upsetting. I mean, what's wrong? Only? I'm really disappointed. A rabbit can do it more. Only one hundred. Why? You and and why the prophet he will do it forty times more than me. You know, not forty times than more. He's forty times more than more than forty men. So he would have ability to do four thousand women. How we can speak to Muhammad there? He will be very busy. 4,000 women a day. I mean, if, 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 if Muhammad is a machine for Pepsi Cola, machine of Pepsi Cola will not make 4,000 cans a day. Muhammad, he will make holes in 4,000 cans. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, what? He will have orgasm every two seconds? Oh, I forgot. In different hadith, the Prophet said that a Muslim would have an orgasm of 70 years orgasm. 70 years? So I will do it 100 times a day, but yet my orgasm is 70 years each time. I mean, how that can work? How many 70 years will be inside one day? You guys, you understand what I'm saying? How every day you will do 100 women, yet your orgasm with one woman is 70 years. So now you are starting with second women, but your orgasm is still, still going? 70 years? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> you see, speaking about Muhammad will make you speak in languages. We speak in tongues, man. How in the world you will have 70 years orgasm, yet you will have 100 women a day? Explain to me how this will happen. Okay, you started with this woman. Okay, now let us say you finish after one hour. But your orgasm should last for 70 years. So how you, can, how you will do 100 women and you are still doing the first orgasm for the coming 70 years? Maybe and maybe in the heaven they have orgasm from their nose or something, so that they have different limb to use. So like he have sex with his private part down there, and his orgasm is coming from his ears, maybe, or maybe his nose. I'm I'm not sure really. This is very confusing. Hmm. <clears throat> anyway, I'm I'm you know like uh, truly truly Islam is the best religion, brother. Brother and sister. Did the person is never Christian prince, and I told him no TB. This is not the true TB. This is the if hadith TB. And uh, so, so Christian prince, he didn't, he didn't say the 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 if hadith. Hmm. <clears throat> any any Mohammedan have a comment? <clears throat> Okay, relax, relax. Forget about this topic. Forget about it. This is not a good topic anyway. Many of you are still single <coughs> and uh, virgins. So, Islam did not promise us as a man that you will go to heaven. There's a woman, she will love you. You do not need to sign in a website. 
you know, okay, so you look ugly like Christian Prince. No women want to talk to you. You know, don't, don't, don't worry. Be happy. No, he didn't say that. Like, there's a woman, she will love you. She will be loyal to you. You will have happiness. No, 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 no. You don't even know their names. Those women, they are called whore. Like in English, you say whore. All of them, they sing the same song. All of them, they have one name. All of them, they have the same face. They have the same look. They have the same eyes. I mean, what the heck of this? So what is the point of having all those women if all of them look the same? They look exactly the same. So he is not a promise to me. I will go to heaven and there is a woman. She will love me. And we will walk in the beach. I will say to her, you have a beautiful eyes. She said to me, I wish I can say the same to you. <laughs> I will say to her, you have a beautiful face. She say, okay, CP, I wish I can say the same to you too. Again. Okay, let's continue. Forget about, don't say it. Please, can you stop repeating that? Keep saying, I wish I can say the same to you. Just don't do that. Okay, please stop. Please. I mean, I am now in heaven, and you remind me of how I look like. Please. <laughs> uh, and then you say to her, uh, the Quran described that your balloon is big. Are they really big? <laughs> I mean... <coughs> I can't breathe. Oh man. What a stupid cult. <clears throat> I mean, aren't you going to be? Look at this. Uh, look, look at this translation. Look how translation changed from person to person. Look. Just change the translator. Look at this. What happened? Mean women with big breasts. So, brother, I think the reason that women there and they're going to have very big, huge uh, breasts, uh, it's like it's going to be to help you in case there is tsunami. You know, especially if you are a Muslim who live in Indonesia, brother, and tsunami come to you, brother. It happened there a lot, brother. So if you have whore who have big boobs, brother, they will play like a balloon and you will survive the tsunami easy. Just hold your wife from her foot and her balloon will make you survive. Have you ever heard of a, of a God like this? Describing to us big boobs? And all of them, they have one age. All of them, they have one face. All of them, they have one name. All of them, they sing the same song. And they say the same words. Mean. <clears throat> so now you are a bird, and women, they have big boobs. Uh-huh. Now what do you do with those boobs? You are a bird now. Hello? What exactly you would do with them? Please tell me. Please. You are a green bird. And those women, they have a big, huge boobs. So like, you know, you go to the women and you say to her. And the women, she will use a special computer for translation because she doesn't understand birds. And she will translate. Can you please take off your bra? And by the way, the Muslims now, they will uh, edit my video and they will cut my video. It says, see Christian Prince saying to a woman, take off your bra. <laughs> what a bunch of potatoes. <clears throat> What is this man? I mean, this is so beautiful. I'm going to go to heaven. I cannot wait. I mean, why are we even talking to you? Let me get uh, to do a jihad and brother and die and go and become a green bird. I mean, if this is the case, why all of you don't do it right now and be, be, become a green bird? You're a bunch of hypocrites. If you really, truly, truly believe in this, that if you die immediately, you will be in heaven, none of you will stay alive. Hmm? 
me. And what, you know, this is like size doesn't matter in Islam. Endless penis, big one mile ass, 30 mile women. I mean, what, what, what this is about? Uh, sexual pleasure have nothing to do with your how big you are, my friend. What this is? What? So what if a woman she don't have big boobs? What exactly? I mean, you you feel like you know you. And if if an, um, a size and you know what about getting a cow? Cow is you know is bigger. And she have seven boobs, not only two. So you can be busy all day long. Do uh, adult uh, breastfeeding suckling. <clears throat> so anyway. I don't want to. I don't want to damage your night. Uh, today is Saturday evening. I apologize. You know, I made this topic, but a Muslim he posted a comment for me, saying, to "CP, you will never enter heaven." I said to myself, "Man, I never. I will never be green bird. I will never have those women with big boobs." I mean, man. And look at the connection women with big boobs and uh, grape <laughs> garden full of a grape and then right away the big boobs come after it actually they look the same if you think about it grape big boobs both you can squeeze them uh, genius Allah I mean there's a connection here I mean how in the world you want to eat a grape without boobs I mean imagine you sit in the table and there's a grape but there's no boobs that's stupid actually Allah is a genius and why all my life I'm eating grape but there's no boobs what I'm missing what I'm missing what I'm so missing man I'm unbelievable and then full cup I'm so glad it's not half cup <laughs> it's full cup it's full brother it's full <laughs> Unbelievable. Imagine you are going to the bar of Allah and you have a half cup. No way, it's full cup. <laughs> uh, you know, I was I was do I was doing heavy lifting, and I have a pain in my side, the side my in the side of my back. I think one of my muscles is hurting me, and each time I laugh, it's hurt. <laughs> It really hurt. <coughs> oh boy. Full cup. I mean, this God, he promised me full cup. Okay, Allah, if it's half cup, but I will drink as much as I want. I mean, what the difference? Ibn al Sitar, the stupid Christian friends, he's saying there is no difference between full cup and half cup. Absolutely, he's stupid. Because full cup is better than half cup. And I'll explain to you. I think the will. How much time you are going to wait to fill the cup again? 50%. And that means you will make, you will lose a time. Allah will make it full for you. You drink from it, it's full again. You drink from it, it's full again. But the brother, full cup or half cup, as long as it's going to stay half cup, it doesn't matter how much I drink, it's the same. <laughs> oh boy. Unbelievable. <clears throat> now be honest how many of you is not convinced yet huh <clears throat> how many of you is not convinced I want to go to heaven I will go to the garden the garden full of a grave and the women will call me babe and they have a big huge balloon hello in their hand there is a full cup 
And if I beat them, they will not call the cops because Allah allowed me to beat them. Man. <clears throat> oh boy. What we can do? What we can do? What we can do with this super intelligent cult? What, Lisa? What are you doing? Teradam, teradam. Are you copying my, my, my music? I have copyright over it. Teradam. I wanna go to the garden of Allah. La, 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 la. And those women are waiting, ting, ting. And all of them, they are crazy, zi, 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 zi. And all of them, they have a big zoo, 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 zoo. In case you do not know what Zuzu mean, 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 mean. Pray to Allah and say, Amin, mean, 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 mean. And you will see it in the tafsir, rear, 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 rear. And actually, he will talk not only about the boobs, but their rear, rear, rear. Hello? I mean, what is religion talking about? The front passages, the rear passages, the bum, the ass, the, 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 the. Uh, the nipples i mean what is that i mean what is left and then the dad he will say to you <clears throat> do you have the courage to read the song of songs for your children <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> oh <clears throat> uh, cp tips fast access to speak english I don't know what does that mean. <coughs> no, he speak about the behind too. There's a hadith about Muslim women. Her, her ass would be one mile size. But it's in Arabic. <coughs> you know, it says her, her ass would be one mile, which is really disappointing. I mean, we are up, we like it big. I mean, one, one mile. What? Why then make it 10 mile? I mean, what you will lose? 10 mile, I can invite all my tribe like 500,000, you know, just one branch. And we can do hiking in the top of it for fun. Especially, it's very smooth. Uh, there's, there was a sheikh in, uh, in TV describing for the Muslim that Allah will soften the skin of every woman, will take him 1,000 years to soften the skin. So the guy who was, <clears throat> who was with me, uh, he said to me, do you know what Allah prepared for us? I said, uh, I think I know. He said, do you know that Allah now, right now, is softening the skin of women for us? I said, yeah, it's going to take him 1,000 years. He said, exactly. Do you see how much Allah cares for us? I said, I don't think he is caring for you. I think he is stupid. He said, why? <laughs> he got upset. He said, why are you are saying that? I said, if he is the creator, why he don't create her? Right away with soft skin. Why he is making her with hard skin and now he will spend 1,000 years to soften the skin. <laughs> I mean, isn't it him the creator? Why you make her with such a skin need soften and will take you 1,000 years? I mean, how slow are you? Your God Allah never heard of a Vaseline. Your God, Allah, never heard of, a, of a, the cream women they use. 1,000 years to soften the skin. Why? She is made it from concrete. And you should see his mouth. His mouth was open. You know, he was shocked. He said, you know, you are really rude. But I think he said to me what uh, Zachary Naik, he said, uh, Brother, you get a point. <laughs> the theta didn't get a point. You have a point, theta. Yeah, I have a point. I mean, how stupid the promise is. You are the creator, and you want her to have her skin soft. So why you want to create a woman, and then you spend 1,000 years to make her skin soft? And isn't it Allah, he say, B is going to be? Where is the B? He lost the power of B when it's come to the skin. Can't he say B soft? So now he's trying sanding machine. And what about the <clears throat> those boobs? Are you going to spend 1,000 years to, to, <laughs> to smooth them? <laughs> So we think that those women, they are virgins and they are young. It turned to be that they took 1,000 years to soften their skin, which means they are very old. 
she is not a grand she is not my grandma she is a grand 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 grandma of a grandma mama mama <clears throat> anyway what you gonna do bad boys bad boys what you gonna do what you gonna do when I come for you bad boys bad boys mean stupidity is amazing garbage in garbage out mm -hmm. all right guys I'm not going to keep you for long it's Saturday night and uh, uh, I wish I could invite some of you here you can you know we can have some good time together uh, <clears throat> but I know most of you have a family and you are busy with stuff uh, I don't want to receive a call like the other lady she called me once you remember a few days ago why you keep talking you know my brother he is addicted to you you know stop please you know like I was like what <laughs> oh boy <clears throat> If you are married and your wife she's upset because you are sitting here with us please don't do that okay I will tell you a trick uh, use wireless Bluetooth hmm? now the Prophet of Allah he said you can lie in three cases <laughs> you can lie brother in the case of four and the brother you can lie to fix things between people and the brother you can lie to your wife unbelievable so if your wife she asks you brother according to islam especially if you're muslim are you listening to christian prince now mm, you say no she said you swear by allah you say i swear by allah i'm not but you have a bluetooth and you are listening to me <laughs> advice from the prophet peace upon him what he can do all of it is true and uh, legitimate and uh, you know ethical very ethical yeah <clears throat> anyway uh, uh, do we have uh, uh, should we finish for today I don't want to keep you for long really how many of you watched the previous video did you guys watch it the previous video yeah, you can copy the bad boy as much as you want <clears throat> too late we are addicted to your videos no actually once I was this is impact talk I received a message from a guy it's a guy account like I know him he come to the mic sometimes smoke to speak uh, but it was his wife he says uh, Christian Prince because of you we are going to divorce <laughs> because of me what we are going to divorce <laughs> I said who are you <laughs> said I am, I am his wife my husband he come because you know I used to stay really long many hours you know sometime if I if I tell you you know, maybe I'll not believe it 12 hours 13 hours because it was a big mission you know in less than six months I made all those who converted to Islam leave Islam in Pato so anyway I used to stay really really long people go to sleep they come back still I am you know debating Muslims uh, she said he don't sit with us he don't eat with us he don't talk to us he is he come from work he sit in the front of the computer and tell you you know he, he don't go to sleep and tell you you know you go to sleep so I said to him you know listen you know I said okay let me talk to your husband I told him listen from now on I will let you stay in my in my room it's a chat room you know two hours only after two hours I will bounce you there is an option you can bounce him so he cannot even hear anything he will get out of the, ch the chat room so every two hours I bounce him <laughs> every day you have only two hours allowance to be in my room and this is how we save the marriage of this man <clears throat> anyway uh, our topic is stupid Islam is stupid but we are not stupid right we are very intelligent people and nobody no fool can fool us it's a shame if a fool can fool you and the question then would be if a fool can fool you how fool are you right think about it isn't it obvious that this is stupid silly promise A garden have a grape full cup big boobs I mean if you are a painter try to put them together and see I mean what this guy is talking about right <clears throat> um, I found out it's stupid Muslim claim the Arabic uh, Bible also use Allah but Allah in the Arabic Bible has a son 
Yeah, but you know, the Arabic Bible, this is a translation. This is not original. So this is a false translation. So what? The same as the Muslim they use in their English Quran, Jesus. But there is no Jesus in the Quran. Go and search where the Quran. There is in Arabic, the name of the Messiah is Yeshua. Yeshua. In Hebrew, Yeshua. So there is no Yeshua. And there is no Yeshua in the Quran. There is a guy, his name is Isa. So if their logic about Allah is exist in a Bible of in, in, in Arabic, this is a translation. The translator is a stupid. <clears throat> None of my business. For me, I go by my Bible. My Bible is the Greek, the Aramaic, the original. We don't have Allah. Oh. Uh, should I take care of the hadith always claim always clean your throat <clears throat> I'll take care of your health oh no, don't worry you know <clears throat> my health is good you know I'm, I'm thank God you know I don't really get sick really I get sick really really I don't go to hospitals I don't even have a health, health insurance and um, you know God is good uh, <clears throat> I just get hurt. My, uh, my side is hurting me now. I did I did lift something really really heavy. You know it's not good for one person to to carry it. But I, I you know I, I always uh, uh, you know I I can carry really uh, heavy stuff. Uh, but uh, looked like I did it in the wrong way. So it like like a wrong move. So that's my side is a little bit hurting me. I think it's a muscle need uh, some uh, uh, we call the virgins to do massage <laughs> yeah so you know thanks god everything is good <clears throat> uh, full cup for you when you go to heaven no i want the half cup what i, what, what I would do full cup actually is not even good because you, you cannot walk with it you, you will split the uh, drink on the floor half cup is the best way to do it this way it's secure you can even run with it right no I don't go to hospitals no it's not it's nothing it's just really I can feel like it's the, the muscles I don't like hospitals I don't go to hospitals even I'm even if I'm dying you know, I'm not in a fan of uh, such a thing anyway <clears throat> Yeah, I need massage. <laughs> you know, there's a video on YouTube speaking about that Allah, he spoke about heart massage. Where is that? It's in the Quran, brother. He really? Allah, he spoke about heart <laughs> I mean, look how, how they lie. The verse there is about a guy who was killed violently by a sword. What does this have to do with the heart massage? Allah he told Musa be the guy with the cow tail or organs and that will bring him to life he's dead this is not heart massage so look the liars they say heart massage to save somebody from dying is mentioned in the Quran but that verse is not about that the verse is about a guy who got killed already is dead and now we have to beat him not his heart by cow this is why the chapter of Al-Baqarah is called in such a thing, you know. The name of Al-Baqarah, the cow, the reason they name it this way, because supposedly a guy was killed and didn't know who killed him. So Allah, he told uh, uh, the Prophet to bring some uh, cow organs and hit the dead guy uh, by the organs of the, uh, the cow. And then the guy will come back to life. <clears throat> and this is how Allah, he bring people from death. So Allah, the Hindu God, he will beat you in the day of resurrection by a cow. And this is how you come back to life. If you don't believe me, go and open the, the interpretation. Chapter 2, verse number 73. Well, if you don't believe me, right now, open it. I'm lazy. Hmm? Or you want me to open it for you? Mm, lazy. 
Okay, hold on. Let me open it for you. Cow, <clears throat> uh, huh? And this is why in USA, if you come into the FBI uh, building, they have a, a big fr freezer. They have a lot of cow inside. Why? Anyone get killed? They bring him. They hit him with the cow. He wake wake up. They ask him who killed you. He say the name of Christian Prince, and then he die right away. Right away, he just wake up. He say say the name. He die, brother. True story. Yes, the true. This is not a fabricated story. It's the true story. And this is how Allah, you know, uh, you know, He resurrect people from death. <clears throat> Uh, let us see. There we go. Okay, this is the interpretation. Read with me carefully. <clears throat> and we say, submit him, the murder person, with some of it, with an organ of a cow. <laughs> <laughs> and also said with its tail or tongue <laughs> so you know, so now you are dead and christian prince is going to uh, you know is going to hit you with the tail of the cow if, 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 if. and that will bring you from death and then you wake up like a zombie and you say the one who killed me his name is abdul muhammad and you die again I mean, do you see this is a, this is super, super, super story? Yeah, and this is how Allah, he bring people from death by hitting them by a cow. So my friend, I advise you, all of you, to keep a tail of a cow in your refrigerator. God forbid any one of your family, he pass away. Well, easy. You know, with the tail of the cow or the private part of the cow, whatever you have. And then he will come back to life, brother. He died again, hit him again. <laughs> Unbelievable, true story. Uh. <coughs> and the funny, it says, and this is how Allah, he do resurrection. The Hindu God. The Hindu God, he used cow. I'm not, I can't say Hindu God now, because Hindus will not allow him to kill the cow for the sake of stupid thing. Right. Oh boy, crazy, crazy cult. And you have to be mentally ill to believe in such insanity. Madness, huh? Isn't it madness? Oh boy. All right, guys, I think we have enough for today. I want to say thank you. Thank you for those who support us by donation too. I appreciate your support. Uh, don't forget to download the video, share it with your friends, add subtitle if you are a person who speaks other languages, so more and more people they can, you know, uh, enjoy uh, learning. You know, my video it might be entertaining to many of you, but sadly, this is stupid things. There is people they are willing to die for it, my friend. This is a very dangerous cult. This is very dangerous cult make people go and lose their mind so <clears throat> we laugh we laugh but in the same time this is a very ugly disgusting religion go and read the news every day thousands of people die in the name of such a stupid cult this is how dangerous it is wherever this cult goes Horrible things happen. Peace run away. War is coming. Bloodshed and justice. And yet nobody claim and nobody talk about justice as they do. Nobody speak about dignity as they do. Nobody speak about ethic as they do. But when you go to their land, all of those things are not exist. If you don't believe me, ask any refugee refugee come into your country. Why is there actually? Why they are? Why the refugees are coming? Because in their land there is no dignity, no respect for a human, no human right. Nothing, you know. This is the land of death. 
Islam bring nothing. It's a curse. Islam is a curse. Destroy. It's, it's like uh, what they call it, the Loctos. They go inside the green land. They turn it into desert. Dry, empty. Even the roots of trees will go dry. This is the cult of death. So not only for me as a believer, Islam will take you to hell. For me as a human, Islam is anti-human. Anti-freedom. Anti-happiness. Islam promotes ugly stuff, like sex with the children. And forbidden beautiful stuff, like music and art. So instead of you know, I have a, I have a, I have a energy. I want to let us say use it in a good thing. So now Islam forbid me from music, forbid me from uh, even like dancing or even singing, or forbid me from drawing because it's haram. So what is allowed? What what I can do in this cult? You can have sex with children, have four wives, and eat and shit. Excuse my language. That's it. That's your you know. This is what Islam is about will make you a creature losing your humanity. You see, human being, one of the things about him, he enjoys music. He creates music. He enjoys art. He creates art. He's a creative. Islam will take the creativity from, from you. You are not allowed to be creative. You are just a creature who is going to obey rules made by a stupid man exist 1400 years ago, promising us all stupid stuff. So Islam is strip you from your brain, from your ability, from your energy, from all good to be just a slave of hate and murder. Not to be a loving, peaceful, creative. I mean, you know, some people, they see you, the Quran is so beautiful. You know, the Quran, my friend, they bring for you somebody have nice voice. If, if you have a nice voice, whatever you're saying is going to sound good. Especially if you don't understand the language. You know, even if he's singing about word about poo poo and, uh, and and piss, as long as you have a nice voice, you enjoy the sound of a nice voice. But the Quran itself is disgusting. It's stupid. Islam take the joy from you, take your human side, make you just a creature, an animal, who look at women just in a in a, in a as an animal. Look at food as an animal. Look at life as an animal, not as a human. Human is a person who can, you know, admire art, enjoy art. Human, he, you know, he enjoyed that God have gave him a hand, and this hand is connected to a brain, and this, this brain can, and the hand, they can function together, which animals cannot do. To create something for beauty, not for eating. All animals, they do the same. They do things just for eating, for surviving. A human being is different. A human being, not only he do what is good for surviving, he do what is good for fun, art, beauty, painting, music. All of this is forbidden in Islam. So if you like music, Islam is actually according to Muhammad. If you play with the music, Allah will put your, you know, will burn you in hell forever. You know, if you if you if you if you draw, if you paint, Allah will torture you in the heaven in His hell. Sorry. Everything is haram. Chess is haram. I mean, all kind of fun is haram. So what? Why we exist? To be a slave because this is a religion of slavery so i want to say thank you guys for being here i'm not going to hold you for long many of you have a family and i would like you to spend your time with your family uh, uh, happy uh, weekend happy sabbath for those who they are in sabbath and happy sunday for those who they are in sunday and you know for me at the end of the day i really enjoy what i do when i see muslims leaving islam Every day, every day, I witness new Muslims leaving Islam. And the Muslim, they make videos saying, Christian Prince, he tricked Muslims to leave out of Islam. The fact is, the one the, the one who trick you is the one who promised you private part. I promised them no private part. I just showed them how stupid it is. 
how I can be tricking them. I'm just reading the screen in front of them what Islam is about. How God can be like Allah. This crazy, stupid idea. So human human being should be, uh, you know, because he's gifted, God, he gave him a gift. He should be smarter. He should be more intelligent. And he should not allow a fool like Muhammad to fool him. And it's my advice. You know, don't let a fool fool you. That's a shame. Use your brain. Uh, <clears throat> All Muslim countries, they have music. That is telling you that no Muslim want to listen to Islam no more, including Saudi Arabia. All Muslims, they enjoy music and belly dancing. And actually, I'm not going to mention other stuff, you know. But the outside, you see, Islam is like a taboo grave. The outside is covered by marble. They try to make it covered by marble. But that marble is broken now and everybody can see what is inside. What is inside is really dark as night. Those who live in the Middle East, they knew what I'm talking about. So, anyway, I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you again, I'm so glad that we did not lose the internet today. I mean, that's strange. <clears throat> uh, usually we lose it before we finish. So, anyway, thank you very much, guys. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you, um, maybe tomorrow again, uh, maybe tomorrow at night, or maybe morning, I'm not sure, depend on my time. Until I see you again, Christ is Lord, and Islam is false. And see you soon again. Take care. Bye-bye.